Welcome back, friends, to Surviving the Daily. I'm your host, Mr. Big Pockets, and I hope everyone is surviving well. So today we are going over yet another Viper Aid VE product. And if you're not familiar with my previous videos, uh, the Viper Aid VE product line is quite vast and at times very confusing. So I've taken it upon myself to uh, uh, get my hands on as many Viper Aid VE products I can so we can compare them. And uh, I started off with the Viper Aid VE 1. And that's this one here. And we're going to use that as a control subject as well as the products that are inside it here. So we have a Sharpie S shell pen and Olight I5R EOS, a uh, Ontario Rat number two, as well as a field book and uh, some Knipex pliers here in the back. So today we're going to take a look at the Viper Aid VE14, and it's described as an ultralight travel wallet, uh, and it has uh, a key ca uh, key case, card, and keychain. Um, uh, that's already confusing in the description. With key cases, card, keychain. Okay, so the product uh, description is a little off. Eh, but it's right on, but it's just lacking some uh, English, I imagine. But so it is a. Uh, actually made from a different material than normal at least uh, uh i'm not quite sure what that is it's uh made from a high quality dacron which is a form of polyester trademarked by dupont uh, so that's quite different from the usual which uh the uh, ve1 as well as many of the other ones are uh, a high quality 500 um the Oxford material, which is a polyester, or a thousand D uh, polyester, but um, this Dacron is a bit different than the normal. So, on the outside here, you can see we have a lanyard, um, not a lanyard, but a uh, carabiner of sorts, and uh, we also have Velcro area as well as the Viper logo. We do have a large pocket. With Velcro, and uh, that's pretty much it for the outside. So we're going to take that, we're going to put that aside, and we're going to open this up. And before we completely open up, we do have another pocket right here, just behind the Velcro uh, flap. And now we're going to open it up. And uh, as you can see, we have the Viper Aid logo here. And uh, we have a spot for bills, large bills. I imagine they are going to be great for, this is going to be great for uh, foreign currency. Because as you can see, the American bill here is quite small compared to uh, what it could actually fit. We also have another pocket back here, which if we wanted to, we could shove more bills in or a passport. Or maybe even a field book. Yeah. Now we can't close it. But uh, you get the idea of what you can fit back there. Passport maybe. I don't know. That might be able to fit a passport. Could fit some uh, large bank notes. And uh, we do have a spot for a uh, key ring here. All right, so the main section, now we're gonna put this right there. And uh, do have spots for cards. So this isn't your typical Viper Aid EDC pouch. It's an EDC wallet. And you'll have a see-through area there, as well as another big pocket right there. This, this is not lacking in pockets, I can tell you that much. Another pocket there, another pocket here. Definitely not lacking in pockets. And uh, I'll tell you right now, we're not going to be able to fit much of our control subjects in here. Put the light there. Try to close it up. We're not gonna be able to fit our normal EDC items in here. Well, maybe you can fit it like that. Maybe poking out that way. And take that. Do it. Make sure I'm on camera while I'm doing this. 
Now, unfortunately, well, we can we can get it in just barely. But so it's going to need a much smaller flashlight, a much smaller knife. What do I have smaller? That is the question. Don't have really anything that will fit in there for knives or flashlights. At least not at my desk here. Uh, we can, can we fit? No, it can't even fit a Zippo. So it looks like this is going to be a fail for our control subjects here. Maybe we can fit our Tempex pliers in here. We can just shove those down in the back here if you really wanted to carry them with you. Those will fit. Isn't that funny? One thing that will fit in here is the Knipex pliers. But uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot of room here for cards and cash and other bank notes as well as maybe your passport. Um, but uh, as for EDC goes, it's going to have to be really small. I wish I had some something to show you in here. Here we go. Here, here's a couple. Here's something we can show you. This is going to fit real nice. I don't feel like taking it off my keys. But uh, the classic SD would fit perfectly in this uh, in here, as well as a uh, Rovi Vaughn flashlight. So there are there are is some uh, options here, just not the ones that we have on the table. Um, but uh, I did do a video on this previously, and uh, it was kind of on the large side for a wallet for me. But if I were traveling, especially overseas, this would be, I think, a great choice for a wallet. But as for a everyday carry wallet, I don't think that would be a great option, at least for me, just because it's so large. And again, look how much it dwarfs that uh, bill there. So something I haven't done yet, but uh, I haven't gone over the specs yet. So it is a light and durable fabric and it's wear resistant and anti-wrinkle because you know how important it is that your wallet stays anti-wrinkled. Uh, you do have the Velcro area and the triangle buckle. Uh, Tri-fold design. You have 10 pockets, 3 EDC uh, elastic loops. Uh, you have a large cash pocket, 6 card slots, uh, mesh slot, which is your mesh slot there. And it's coming in at 5.1 inches by 4 inches uh, wide. And uh, that's uh, also coming in at 13 centimeters high and 10 centimeters wide. And uh, weighing in at 2.43 ounces or 69 grams. Am I reading that right? Yep. Uh, and uh, you can get it uh, in three colorways, uh, black, black camo, and tan. But uh, you cannot get the tan uh, version on Amazon. you got to get it off uh, the Viper Aid uh website viperade.com now if you were to buy this off of amazon it's going to cost you thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents if you buy off their website it uh, will cost you sixteen ninety nine but uh, uh, they do not charge tax or shipping so if you are not a amazon prime member that may be the way to go so that there my friends is the uh, viper aid ve14 ultra light travel wallet let me know down in the comments what you think of this. Is this something you would uh, EDC? Uh, is this something that uh, you would prefer to use outside of the country? I'm not quite sure if I would want to go outside of the country with a picture of a snake on my wallet. But uh, that's just me. So, uh, anyways, uh, I let me know what you think of this wallet down in the comments. Uh, and... Uh, uh, I appreciate everyone uh, that came to watch this. I hope everyone's having a great day. And I'll see you next time. And uh, Mr. Big Pockets out.